In this tutorial, we will see the different transformation features. Let's open up a new Word file. How engineers do it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Transformation features can be applied once we have a part, a solid object. So firstly, let me create solid and then go for a pad, create a pad. On this, I will create small pocket. Now we do have a pocket here. So in order to do a rectangular pattern, select the rectangular pattern here and select the, you need to select the pocket and then go for reference element as this plane here and then go for a number of instances. We could go for a 10 instance or a 6 instance as the spacing here is less go for a second direction, give a second and six instance and here go for reverse. In this case you could go for four. So that creates a rectangular pattern here. Once you create this, you could always go here and do the uh, editing. You could increase the spacing by 25 mm. Something like this also could be done at the later part of the stage by editing the specification tree. So that's about the rectangular pattern. Now let's see what's a circular pattern. So click on the sketch and select the plane and then you could create two circles, concentric, do a pad. Now we will apply one circle here. Then we will apply a pocket for this. And then create the select the pocket and go for. So before doing that, you need to have an axis for the rotation. So go for point direction and then create a point. For creating a point, we can go for right click, create point, and in this case, we could go for a circle. This is something which is which doesn't come in the explanation of uh, part design. So I will be talking more about this option in the upcoming tutorial. So as of now, just do this as you need to do to complete the tutorial. So go for an X axis. Now you could uh, select this pocket, go for a circular pattern, and then select the reference element as this line here. And go for a complete crown and then increase the number of instances and click on OK. So that creates a circular pattern. Now let's see what happens when we do a mirroring. So to do that, let's go for a sketch and then create an object here. Click outside sketch and then go for a path. Then select this pad and then go for uh, the mirror option and select this plane as the reference. Click on OK. So that creates a mirror. As you can see, the object comes as a mirror feature. So let's continue the remaining options in the uh, transformation feature. As you can see, you have uh, four different options in the translate. So let's talk about that in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned.